Adidas have just released their new face mask for sporting activities or maybe it's just sporting apparel uh, I haven't been able to get hold of one this is just a, a mock-up um, but in this video we look at the attitude of runners and whether they would respond favorably towards wearing face masks and face coverings to get out there and run before a vaccine is found in participation of sports my name's Ray Whitby welcome to aspiring runners so as I say, Adidas, a uh, company uh, looking at trying to provide some kind of apparel and I'm going to have to take this one off just for the for shooting of the video. So with the uh, emerging problems that we're having of getting out there um, in a return to um, normality for running groups and sporting activities involving running, um, one of the problems that we're seeing obviously is how do we keep ourselves safe? How do we keep others safe? And Adidas, I think, um, I, although I can't speak uh, completely knowledgeably because I haven't been able to contact anybody in the company, uh, they're looking at the situation and trying to provide some kind of face mask or a, a face covering um, that would help individuals, whether they're part of the sport or whether they're spectators, um, to be able to re-engage somewhat within the sporting activity. Now, these masks that they're providing are not specifically designed for running, but I'd still like to get hold of one and try them out and see, you know, is there a mask that you can comfortably run in and is safe? And in a previous video linked up here, uh, I tried on different types of face shield, face masks, and face coverings and gave a, a review over the ability to run in them, or at least to jog, to train. Not necessarily for an all-out sprint, um, just to say that some of them are dangerous to run in uh, because they provide such a resistance to breathing that you could end up in all sorts of problems, including a collapsed lung uh, leading to death. So it's about responsibility training correctly uh, and running wisely and uh, but what I found is that there are certain coverings that at least you will be able to use that will provide a, a reasonable barrier uh, to prevent uh, exhaling over other people should you be contaminated or inhaling uh, what other runners are breathing out and I think it just provides only one step though towards the return to group running and group running competitions and events. Uh, but um, what I'm finding is that uh, the public opinion, at least the small sample that I've been able to get hold of so far, shows that many people are actually opposed that even though they could have a face mask, a face covering, uh, they're not that interested in being in close proximity uh, with other runners until a vaccine is found. So the idea of personal protective equipment, uh, it only provides you know, one aspect of the answer. The other problem is actually the attitude of other runners. But they just don't want it. They don't want to have to go through it. Running to them is not about exacerbating any particular risks. You know, they go out there to run, to relax, to enjoy it perhaps, to unwind, de-stress. Of course, getting fitter. And there is an aspect um, relating to competitive running and going for PBs. Well, I totally get that. Uh, but I think if the general opinion is that people are willing to wait, runners are willing to wait until it is far safer and the vaccine is available, uh, then you've got to look at whether these event organizers are taking heed of this. Um, I'm sure they are. Uh, except that I have heard that there are a number of running events for upcoming marathons uh, that they hope to hold later this year. And at the moment, the vaccine is still quite a long way away. Uh, and of course, what we've got to do is take on the responsibility of, uh, you know, the impact of uh, running has on various aspects. Cheers. Uh, so it'd be uh, other stakeholders that are involved. You've got a series of marshals that are out there, volunteers. You know, would they take the risk? First aiders that would have to be on hand. Are they willing to take the risk? Then you've got the health workers who would have to respond should there be injuries. And if you've got running events where you've got large numbers of people, uh, the probability of injuries are going to be increased. I mean, is it right? Is it wise? 
to burden an already burdened system, at least here in Britain with the NHS. And I think it's about uh, at least trying to understand uh, and weigh the balance between, uh, you know, the benefits, of course, uh, as well as the inherent risks. And I think at the moment, if uh, the general public will probably vote with their lack of feet, they will just simply stay away. Registration numbers will go down. Will these organisers then understand that even if they restrict it to just a few thousand in open spaces and try to have social distancing in place, will the runners still turn up? And I'd love to know. Uh, again, my a sample for this particular study is quite small and it'd be good to know, you know what the wider community thinks you know what the different um, communities think in different countries you know we're all in this together we're all affected some to a smaller degree some to a greater degree so what do you think is right i mean if you're passionate about running you absolutely love the buzz of participating in running events you know what do you think is the right thing to do you know what would make you feel safe to turn up to a running group again um, what i'd love for you to do is to go here and complete the poll uh, and let me know um, give me a larger data size to work with um yeah it would be an interesting um you know feat to get that feedback uh, and to respond accordingly um so look you know thank you very much for joining me here and um, please comment down below would love to get your insight and your opinions um, and if you like this we are releasing more videos over the coming weeks um, not just on uh, the COVID-19 coronavirus um, but also on all aspects related to running uh, we're part of the growing running community and it'd be great to, for you to join us so please uh, click on like if you liked it if you found value here um, and please do subscribe, hit the bell notification, uh, and then you'll be alerted as soon as the next video is available. So, thanks very much for joining me on Aspiring Runners. Catch you next time. Take care.